Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use FreshBooks. Down below in the description you will have timestamps so you can easily skip parts that you understand. I believe that after watching this video you will exactly know how to use FreshBooks. Don't hesitate, ask me any questions in the comments, I'll be really happy to help you. So let's start. The first thing, after you log in, you need to set up your account. So first, what does your business do? And you choose here the industry. Let's go with marketing. How would you describe your business? I would go, it's launching soon. And what do you use to build your customers? Pen and paper. <laughs> What's your estimated revenue this year? Let's go up to 21,000 to 45. Let's continue. Now you just add here your name and last name, phone number, company name, let's go Stonelius. And you just add here the street address. I would just add here like made up. Continue. And now how many team members do you have? Again, you choose. I would go with just me. Marcus, you're all set. One last thing, can you tell us how you heard about FreshBooks? Google. Save and finish. Now right here, you see that we can go this way, that we can add the clients, but I'm going to cancel this and I will show you step by step everything, okay? When you enter the dashboard, you will see on the top right corner invite, in which you can invite admin, manager, employee, contractor or accountant. Then next to it, you can create new, and this is like a shortcut for a client, retainer, invoice, recurring template, other income, expenses, estimate, credit, bill, and vendor. First, you see it here, outstanding revenue. Then we're going to see total profit here and revenue streams and spending and unbuilt time. So when we will finish everything, we will look on a dashboard and we will see it filled. The left corner, you're going to see notifications. And right under it, you're going to see settings. Here, you can edit your company profile that we edited right in the beginning. Items and services. Apps and integrations. Accept online payments through, for example, Stripe. Bank connections. Billing and upgrade. Emails and templates. In bank connections, you can add a bank, right? So, in a company profile, we added it right in the beginning. Then, next thing, items and services. We will get to it right now. Then you're going to see apps and integrations that you can like integrate with Shopify, Squarespace, if you have e-commerce store, then bank connections. And then you're going to see referrals here. Now, right here in items and services, let's start with that. You can simply go to top right corner and click import items or create new item. And you can just add a name book. This is a book rate i'll go 50 euro and i can also track the inventory click save and voila here we got our first item you can also add a service and the process is the same on the top in like left menu left bar you're gonna see clients invoices payments expenses estimates time tracking projects and my team and then you're gonna see like reports here that you can see so let's just jump into the clients and let's create our first client. In clients menu, you can simply click on more options here and you can import clients or you can export clients. Here you can create a client or add it. And then this is the same button. So let's just go to top right corner, new client. Right here, first and last name. We will add the first name, last name. Now, Apple. Email address, I'll just add it here. Okay, I'll just add here the address, really simple. Then you have like client settings here that you can send reminders, charge late fees, or you can also change the currency and language of the client. Automatically add late fees to this client's order in invoices and automatically send payment reminders for this client's invoices. Let's click save now. And voila, here we are, her first client. And when you would click on a client, you could see that if we are going to create some invoices and I'm going to invoice Marek Kral, I would see everything here. 
and then I get to see also contacts for Apple. I got to see invoices that I can directly add for the company and everything else for the Apple company that I added. And then I would add here the relationship. This is like my CRM notes about the client. And let's go back. So clients are really easy. Then I can click, click, simply click here and I can edit it or put it to trash. Now let's go to invoices. In invoices, you can simply accept online payments on the top right corner when you can connect it with Stripe or PayPal. And then you can create a new invoices. Right here, you would see invoices from me and to me. So first I'm going to add new invoice. Right here, I can simply add a logo and I'm going to add Baby Yoda. Now, right here, I have my company and everything built to add a client. I can simply edit here. And it will automatically add and you can like change the client if you want to. So, yeah. Right here, I'm going to add a description and also I can add a name and the item name. So this is what we created. We created the client and we created the, the item book. And now, okay, we see quantity, etc. everything notes and terms. And right here, you can accept online payments and you can accept online payments. No, or you can have it done on customize invoice style. So you can like, edit it. I really like the ones when I have baby Yoda, so I'm not going to change that. And then you can make it recurring. So if someone is like employee and uh, he's gener you're generating like invoices or something, it's okay to make it recurring. It's up to you. And then for Apple, again, I can charge let fees. I can change the currency language and send reminders. Now, right now I can save it. I'm going to save it. Okay, and I have it as a draft, so I'm going to click on it again. And I can edit it. Or we can simply archive it, download it as a PDF, print it, duplicate, mark as send, create a shareable link, send by mail, add a payment. So edit. And I can click send to. And I'm going to send it to myself on my email. And now I can preview it and I can send an invoice or you can create a shareable link. And now let's see invoice has been sent by mail. So I'm going to check it out on my Gmail account. It still didn't come, but when it will come, I will show it to you. Okay. And then again, you can, as I mentioned, add a payment, you can send it again. You can create a shareable link, duplicate, print in Dolan PDF, archive and delete. When I'm going to back, I will see the that okay, invoices, I got sent with for 50 euro to the company Apple. And if someone would send me, I would see it right here. Let's go to payments. In payments, you're going to see three tabs, invoice payments, checkout link payments and other income. If you would go to the top right corner to the more actions, you can view payment reports, accept online payments and have payment settings in which you can automatically apply credits, turn on any credits on the client's account are automatically applied as payment for recurring invoices. In invoice payments, you can simply click plus here and type to add an invoice. So I will just add your zero zero as an invoice that we created. Payment date is going to be today. Type, you can again, if it's going to be PayPal or whatever, an amount 50 euro and you can add notes. I can go like, I'm going to pay only 25. And voila, so invoice number, type into, into notes, 25 euro paid. Then we are going to look on expenses. In expenses, you're gonna see your expenses and now you can go to more actions, you can import them or you can generate a new one. Under the expenses in the menu, you're gonna see bills and vendors. When I'm going to click on a bill, 
I can simply add a new bill here. And again, same thing. I'm going to Apple Render, create a new one. Like this. I can simply add line, description, bill, category, advertising, line total can be 50. Let's go 40. And then I can see everything here. So, okay, this is my first bill. Click save. Then what can I do is also click on vendors. And I gotta see the one vendor here. And I can go to the right corner and just add a new vendor. And same thing. So company is going to be a new one and vendor new. First name, last name. If I have it, I can just quickly save. So as you can see, I got Apple vendor, which I'm outstanding 40 euro. And then I have the vendor new, which is zero. I can simply create a new bill. Or I can click on expenses. I can click here new expense. And right here, add a category. I can go, let's go with um, education and training. Add a merchant. I have a marketing company here. Or, yeah, I can do that. So marketing company that I pre-created. Again, you can create a new one if you want to. Add a description, subtotal. Fifty, or oh, like let's go one hundred. You can now assign it to client, client or project, internal or Apple. You can make it recurring, and you can change the currency and cost of goods sold. You can have that to or no. Click save. Right when I'm going to do it, as you can see, I got expenses here, and now what I want to show you is this. When I would go to the dashboard. I can see that, okay, outstanding revenue is 25 euro because that's what I have to pay. Outstanding invoice, sorry. Total profit is minus 125. Oh, sorry, I missed some words. This is what I have to get paid again. So that's 25 euro. And now income is 25. Expenses 150, so my profit is minus 125. Revenue streams, invoices 25 euro. And spending, I can see uh, where I actually spend my money. And that's pretty much it. Let's go to estimates. Before we go further to estimates, I want to show you something. What did I just get? I got the invoice that we sent it. And now Stonelli is sending invoice for 50 euro and I can simply view it. So as you can see, I got personally paid remaining 25 euro. More action, I can print it or download it as PDF. And I can simply save this invoice here in estimates. You can simply create a new estimate and list the services you will provide and their cost or proposal. And same thing. Add line, book, 50 euro, add a client, the client that I created. I can change also the quantity, let's go 10. And I can quickly send to or save. And this is going to be my estimate. Or I can see also like to me. And then you can also, if you want to, you, set, you can form proposal. Let's go to time tracking. In time tracking, you can simply generate an invoice also, or you can add a new entry. So I'm going to edit by myself. You can add a project or client. I'm going to add Apple, add a service, marketing. Then you just add here, like let's go. One hour, notes, none. Fine. And here we can see our over time entry and click the play button to pick up where you left off. 
and I can simply resume if I want to, that if I'm working more on it. So here you can also edit that and generate invoice. So we can see the client is Apple and I can continue and generate an invoice at what rate I can go 25 per hour. And here they range this month, select all, no project, one hour, one hour. Choose expenses, all and build expenses. Choose time entry format. I can go with detailed, add to invoice. And voila, this is what we got. One hour for 25 euro. I can click again, send to myself, send invoice. And voila, this is how time tracking works. Really simple, really easy. Next thing, we're going to see projects. In projects, you can simply create a new flat rate project or hourly project. So I will going to choose flood rate project. And again, I can invite my team here. That's me here. I can choose here building to project two, assign a client. I'm going to add it to Apple. Project name, Apple project. Project services, I can add service like marketing. Services are on the settings, right? When I showed you. And then hourly budget, flat rate will be like 50 and 10 hours. And end date, I can go 30, 31st of January. I can simply also change the project type and I can set the cost rates. Like my team member, myself, I'm taking five hour, five euro per hour, done. I can also set expense markup. 10% and then I just click save here now right here as you can see I got my project I got hours locked profitability I can discuss the project with others and I can simply add like my entry here at add time entry add the service marketing one hour or like let's go 100 two hours lock time and now as you can see that budget is 10 hours and I locked two hours already right pretty simple and the last thing I want to show you is my team in my team I can invite team members so top right corner and I can invite the admin manager employee contractor or accountant when I'm going to click manager I just add your email address, continue. Hey Marek, we're using Freshbook to create estimated invoices for clients to our Freshbook account and you can simply send invitation and assign to project, voila. And now I just invited my manager, again myself. Look at this and I got the mail. We're using FreshBooks to create estimated invoices for clients, track time, teams, times, and manage projects. I can simply click on the link and I'll be in. And this is how we can simply use FreshBooks. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments. Now when I would go to dashboard, you can see that I will see everything here. 50 euro outstanding, two invoices. Top to profit is minus 125. Revenue streams 25 euro the invoice. Spending, I can see 150. And build time is zero. And yeah, if you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. Using FreshBooks is easy, it's not hard. Anyone can do it. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye.